It's time to really raise your standards for your life, for your health, for your relationships, for your career, because I see this all the time and I did this myself, is when I didn't feel worthy, I settled. I settled for way less than I deserved. And you know, there's a variety of reasons why we may not feel worthy. You know, maybe we just have a lot of trauma, childhood trauma. Maybe we have a lot of symptoms, frustrating symptoms like mood imbalances, low libido, fatigue, and we just feel like we aren't ourselves, which makes us feel less than, which doesn't make us feel whole. And when we don't feel whole, we end up trying to find people who kind of fill that void and we really just try to get by, right? especially when we have a lot of fatigue and unpleasant symptoms, like the idea of going to a new job, um, new possibilities, it's, it's not as realistic when you're just struggling, you're just chugging along. And I have a lot of clients who start out with me and um, I can see that they're not satisfied in certain areas of their lives. And once they start taking care of themselves and they really raise their standard for their health and for their life, they let go of these crutches that aren't serving them. They set boundaries at work and stop letting people walk all over them and treat them poorly because they realize their worth, right? When we feel like ourselves, when we feel whole, we realize how fucking amazing we are. And when we realize that, then, um, yeah, there's no room for settling for mediocre relationships or jobs or anything like that. Um, and there's a whole world of possibilities that opens up when we realize, you know, all that we can be and all that we are. And that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And so my message today is... You know, if you are settling right now, it's probably because there's areas of your life that you've been neglecting or ignoring, um, blind spots or gray areas that you haven't addressed that you need to. And you know, I tell people all the time, sometimes the only way out is through. So it might be painful to work through some of that trauma, but it's going to help you release that and then get back to yourself, get back in touch with yourself crutches like birth control. It's just a lack of sex education is why we're reliant on this. We aren't taught about our biology in school and our doctors, they just hand us this pill to mask our symptoms. But this is very much influencing our biology and our personality and our mood and our health in so, so many ways. It shuts down our reproductive system, which shuts down our feminine energy, which is gonna make us feel like a different person. And for me, it caused fatigue, it caused low libido, it caused, like I just was like, blah. I just felt nothing. Like I wasn't very empathetic or emotional or anything like that. I just felt like a walking zombie. And you know, when you feel that way, it's just like, well, who would wanna be with someone who's not very sexual or feminine or exciting or fun or anything. I just felt like, again, a walking zombie. And when you feel that way, it's just like, well, I guess I don't really deserve someone who feels great because I can't really match that. I can't really meet that standard. So the solution isn't to lower your standards in your relationships or your career. It's to raise your standards for yourself. And you know, the problem is that we don't know what we don't know. So we get used to feeling this way, feeling kind of bad and everyone in our network kind of complains about PMS and migraines and fatigue and so we just assume this is a part of getting older or it's just a part of life, but it's not. It is definitely, definitely not. And um, once you realize how good it could be when you get a taste of how good it feels to wake up energized and to feel silly and um, I, I heard someone say the other day, the barometer for how happy we are is like whether or not we dance. So if you hear a song and you just start dancing, like you just wanna dance, like that is a barometer of your happiness level. And so if you're not dancing, if you're not having fun, if you're not enjoying your life and you're settling, then it's time to make some changes. And so um, my message to you guys today is to know your worth and don't settle. There's so much that is possible. There's a world of possibilities out there for you. Um, but it's really hard to see it when we have this fog that is kind of weighing us down and blurring our vision and our potential. 
And so it's very, actually surprisingly simple to lift that fog and get to a place where you are whole so that you aren't just trying to fill your voids with someone who isn't all that you deserve, but instead you are trying to find someone who matches your self-worth and respects you and appreciates you. And um, man, I just, I've seen a lot of divorces lately and, and breakups and things like that. Um, so I think it's just time that we really check in with ourselves and raise that standard. So I hope this resonates with you guys. I hope you know your worth and I hope you know that you are so, so loved.